Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining fun token using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you get up and running faster and save more on your pool mining fees here with this coin. So, before we dive into the video, I always like to start off here on Coin Market Cap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you do be happen to be watching this video in the future. If you aren't interested in this portion, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the video then. But overall, as you can see, crypto still is on a bit of a decline, down about 2.37% today to a total market cap of $2.11 trillion. Now, again, I really don't think this is anything to be too concerned about because when you look at some of the prices, you know, Bitcoin especially, still above $60,000. This is up a crazy amount this year. And of course, with it being a Bitcoin halving year, many, many times we've seen Bitcoin have and we go into a full on bull market. So I think we do still have some time to start seeing these coins inch back up towards the green and then eventually rocket into the green before the end of the year. But of course, today we are talking about fun token. So right now, fun token is priced at about three tenths of a penny zero zero three three two five so it's definitely a very cheap coin at the moment as you can see here based off the 247 uh, people who have marked their feelings on the coin it is up 70 percent for a bullish coin now right now they're sitting at uh, 621st place on the coin market cap but if we take a look at the all-time price here you can see that back in 2018 this coin was 16 cents now Will it get back up to 16 cents? Nobody really knows. But if we look back at the last bull run, um, you can see that it made it back up to 5 cents per coin. Now, definitely a big gap there. Um, you know, if you really believe in this coin and some of the utility around it, um, you know, there is a definitely a good chance it could get back up to 5 cents, which is over a one or over 5 cents per coin. Um, you know, gain if it starts to get back up to this, uh, you know, 5 two, four, eight level. So very cool. But how do you start mining this coin? We're using a site here called Unminable. Now, what's really nice about this site is you might be thinking like, how do you actually mine fun token? It's not mineable. Well, what this site does is it allows you to choose algorithms that are best and most profitable for your specific computer. And it allows you to mine on those and get paid out in the coin of your choice, which of course in this case is fun token. So what I would recommend doing is heading over to a site called what to mine, um, basically enter in your, your system stats, uh, it'll ask what GPU you have, and it'll tell you the most profitable algorithm. Now I will say for most people, if you're running a relatively new card that's been made in the last few years and has over six gigs of VRAM, Kapow is going to be the best option for you. But depending on when you're watching this video, or even if you're watching it when it just came out, always go check that out because I'd hate to see you miss out on some profits if this information has changed. Now again, if I haven't mentioned it, the link to Unminable is in the description below and the link down below will actually save you 25% on your pool mining fee if you want to use that link. I'll talk about that more in just a minute. But what you're going to do is go ahead and select get started with our wizard. Then you can choose the basic or advanced. I'm going to go with basic good enough for 99% of people looking to mine. Again, I'm choosing GPU as this is most likely what most people are going to be mining with, but if you are looking to mine with your CPU, feel free to choose that option. Again, just select your mining algorithm. Again, I'm going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for you. 
And here's where you select the coin you want to get paid out in. Of course, we're looking at fun token today, but there are almost 100 coins here to get paid out in. Um, so just make sure you enter the wallet address for the coin you select. Um, and on the topic of the wallet address, please double and triple check that this is the correct address when you paste it in. As you can see, if I delete that zero, it comes up and says, hey, it seems to be an invalid address. But if I replace it with a one, everything repeats fine. Now, we all know that if that one was still there, I would not get my payments. So I'd hate to see you start mining, build up to the minimum withdraw, and then realize that the address was wrong and not be able to get paid out. So once you've confirmed that, go ahead and select next. And as you can see, this is the final screen before getting into mining. This is where you can enter in a referral code, which as you can see, I have one here, which is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. Now you'll notice that this was pre-filled in, and if you use the link in the description, it will be that way when you get to this page. Please feel free to use this code. As I mentioned, using it will save you 25% on your pool mining fee. Here on Unminable, there is a 1% fee, meaning if you mine 100 fun tokens, one of those coins is going to go to Unminable, regardless of if the coin is three tenths of a penny or $30. Regardless if you mine it in a day or in a year, you're always going to pay that 1%. And by using this code, you will actually reduce it down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 25% of the coins that would have otherwise gone to Unminable. So feel free to use that code or continue without it if you want to pay the higher fee. And here is the final step, downloading the miner and getting started. Um, so I always personally recommend G Miner. It has always worked really well for me. Um, I've never really had any major issues, but all of these miners are great. Um, G Miner is just my preferred one because it's always treated me well. Um, I will say that certain ones here like Team Red only supports AMD, T-Rex only supports NVIDIA, whereas G Miner or NB Miner here support both. So it kind of future proofs your mining setup if you happen to upgrade your PC in the future. But what you're going to do is select download miner files, which will take you to the GitHub page. Just go ahead and select this Windows 64 zip download, and this will download the file to your computer. Go ahead and extract those files. If you do not extract the files, this program will not work. So if you run into issues, make sure that you didn't miss the extraction step. Then what you're going to do is come over here to say download.bat file. And as you can see here, Google Chrome called this out and said, hey, you have an unverified file. We've blocked that download. You are going to have to select this and say download unverified file. Now, if you are not comfortable doing this, please go ahead and select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this, so you will not be able to mine if you're not comfortable downloading this. I do have a number of other videos that help you get started earning free crypto without having to download anything, so check those out if you're interested. But once you get that file downloaded, drag and drop it into the folder with everything else that you just extracted. As you can see here, all of my Gminer files, unminable fun dash kapow dash Gminer down here at the bottom. At this point, all you need to do is double click this to get started. Now you will notice I had another pop up saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. You will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, please just go ahead and say don't run, delete the files, and move on. But if you are comfortable with it, go ahead and say run anyway. And as you can see here, up and running, mining fun token using my NVIDIA RTX 3070 here in less than 10 minutes. The clock on the recording says it's been about 8 minutes and 37 seconds, and that included a little bit of intro with coin market cap. So it is really that simple to get up and running. Now just a few final things I like to call out here with Unminable. It does take some time to get your stats. So if you come over to the address page here and paste in the same fun token address that you used to sign up, as you can see it has not reported yet. They claim it takes about 10 minutes. I always say be safe, give it up to about a half hour, maybe an hour. If you still aren't seeing anything, something may be configured incorrectly. I'd recommend checking your addresses both here as well as in the bat file you created. Uh, you saw how easy it was to get started, so when in doubt, always go back through and just do the steps again. It only takes a few minutes. 
And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and click the red X. As you can see that closed out the CMD window, you are now no longer mining. You might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That's easy. Well, something a little strange here with Unminable. You can actually continue seeing stats and even payments here on the site for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. I'm not sure why it does this, but it has led to some questions that I've seen around, hey, you know, I've stopped this miner. I don't see it. It's not in the tray. It's not running, but I'm still getting paid. Is it really mining? And the answer is no. As long as it's closed out, it is no longer mining. I personally have gotten payments up to 12 hours after stopping a miner. I don't really know why it behaves this way, but it does. And hey, if you are got everything closed out, you're using your PC, playing some games, editing some videos, whatever you might be doing, you're still getting paid. I wouldn't complain too much. It's just one of those weird things I like to mention. So with that being said, if you liked this video, please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.